Thanks for tuning in and welcome to this week's review of The Invisible, starring Justin Chapman. Showtime. He is everything a mother could want. So we're gonna go to Ava's party tomorrow night? Get Nick Powell's poem. It doesn't even rhyme. It's your problem, man. It didn't have to rhyme. Can I say something? I wrote the poem. Whatever, it sucked. <laughs> is this a game? You think this is funny? Whoa! Can anybody hear me? This weekend has been referred to as a Spider-Man 3 effect. No real strong movie wants to come out one week before Spider-Man 3 because the second weekend would just be decimated at the box office. So weaker movies will try to release their movies this weekend because of lack of direct competition, at least for one week. I never thought about this until I saw two of the three movies I was thinking about reviewing. Of the three I was concerned this weekend was Kicking at Old School, Condemned, and The Invisible. Of the three, I thought The Invisible was the one that had the most potential. Well, now I know why this movie was released this weekend. It was extremely slow and fairly uninteresting. It was like someone saw the movie Ghost and thought it was time to make a similar movie a decade and a half later. Unfortunately, this movie has about 70 to 80 minutes of lackluster storyline and uninteresting characters. Once the main character gets beaten up and left for dead, the movie goes into a tailspin and never really recovers. The casting is not great, but it's not horrible either. At least the kids do look like kids and not 35 year old actors pretending to be kids. I think that two weeks after seeing this movie, you're going to struggle to remember any of it. There's nothing that really stays with you and there may only be a couple memorable scenes in the movie. The acting, pretty much the same as the casting, nothing special, but I don't know if it's their fault. I think the script and the execution of the script is the weakest part of the film. The biggest flaw is that the initial hook of the movie, it, it just slows down to a halt and sits there for almost an hour with nothing really gripping you or pulling you one way or another. It has nothing that grabs you and makes you care deeply one way or the other. It tries to pull some emotion out of you, but by the time the ending rolls around, I was just thinking about the $10 of mine that just joined the realm of the invisible. The ending of the film really tried hard, and for me, it just didn't work. I think that if the movie had been better in the middle, I still don't know if I'd like the ending. I think the middle didn't try hard enough, I think the ending just tried way too hard, and it missed on both accounts. This movie will be out of the top 10 pretty fast and head to DVD fairly soon, so if you're on the fence on this one, just wait and see it at home. For more overall rating, I give The Invisible one and a half stars.